Hi, everybody. Okay, today we're going to talk about image prompt and how we can use it to influence our uh, render outcome. Now, I have basically done a lot of videos on, you know, the image to image part, which at first I thought it was okay, but then once I got more into it, it became even more powerful, especially when, when combined with other features in Leonardo. Image prompt can hold its own. It's actually, you know, you can input up to five images and you do it here in the image prompt on this side. You can input up to five images that you want to reference. Personally, I find that whenever I'm doing it, I like to do one image um, instead of maybe multiple. And I'll show you why. So, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be using <clears throat> this collage. I wanted to create a collage of images. Yeah, these are poses I got off of uh, Pexels, and I thought I'd just put them in a little collage because I wanted to see how um, Leonardo would respond to me asking for this. So I said, okay. Let me put it in, and I'm going to ask something specific. Like, I, I saw a great picture of a detailed, realistic, um, a bohemian lady, and I wanted her basically dancing um, background a field of sunflowers. I don't have any love sunflowers. I say they're cool, I'm not just a lover, but somebody sold me one and I was like, okay, let me try that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull up this image that I showed you, and I'm actually gonna pull up a couple of other images and we'll go from there. Okay, so here I've uploaded a picture of the sunflower in the field of sunflowers, and I've also uploaded that collage I've shown you before. Now again, this is image to image prompt. Image prompt does not work with control net, but it does work with prompt magic so if you have that on there it'll only work with prompt magic 2 and not um so with image prompt you can reference like i said up to five images so i put up two here and here's my prompt you know ultra detailed realistic five panel okay the same here because ramley's telling me not to do that um a woman in bohemian clothing performing dance poses each panel uh, this background of field of sunflowers and then art germ. Art germ is a is an artist, and I I'm planning to drop down in the comment if you'd be interested in a video on different artists. I think I have a list of like 25 or so different artists, and I can show a collage of what each one would look like. So let me know if that's something you all be interested in. Okay, then hyper realism color palette. I wanted earth tones, UV5, and octane render those also. This, those are UV5 is old Unreal Engine, and that's a game developed that was real, realistic. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through and I'm going to take, I want to show you guys something. So, right now I'm in Dream Shaper 7. Um, and let's go ahead and generate the first image. Now, I said I wanted a five panel collage of a woman in bohemian clothing dancing the, the poses. So as a reference, of course, I put in the sunflowers because not that I don't think that Leonardo knows what sunflowers are, but I wanted to do specific. So here's what I have here. So again, we have in a field of sunflowers, which it did that, and I'm grateful for it. Um, but it didn't really, and I've got a guy here, which I found very interesting. Um, you know, it doesn't really stick too much with the yeah this one doesn't even have somebody in it so what i find here is that it gave me this one gave me a six panel and that one gave me a five panel which is but the poses were not really that great so in certain cases what i want to do is i want to play around with the prop magic strength and maybe even the imagery i think more the image weight than the prop magic strength so when we go ahead and i'm going to move this point i just to see the prompt magic strength is going to be, I'm gonna move this up to, usually I like to go between 0.7 and 0.9, uh, but let's see what happens when I when I dive deeper into point, in the in the 0.8 category or territory and see what happens. Now, of course, the higher the image weighs, the higher you go, the more it adheres to these images. So it doesn't really give Leonardo enough room to play. And perhaps you wanna have something really adhere to a certain format and you don't really want it to play too much. And that's when you put the image way up to like, or around one. Okay. You have some of the dance poses now, of course, uh, 
not exactly. This one, of course, is the United SoundCloud, which is cool. Um, but this one's kind of a little bit off. So if I were to put this up closer, one, I wanted to see what would happen. And I think this might be my point. Thanks so much for your time. If you could like this video, if you find it useful, it'll help me to figure out what kind of content you want to see. And then there's the YouTube algorithm thing. Yep, we all know how that goes. So thanks for your time and let's get back to it. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So the higher I go, the more, um, it's not really showing panels per se. It just looks like six big, five big, just kind of playing around. Again, there's a guy. And as for a guy, but whatever happens, happens. Um, and the closer I get to one, the more it looks more like, um, not necessarily six panels, but just a blob of pictures. So it looks like the image, the images at the second image, has more of an influence than or the first image I have up here has more of an influence than this image and this is of course my whole point of this is to create a collage and I came up with collage and everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this off and I'm gonna see I'm gonna keep the image weight as is I'm run it and see what happens and I again my, my prompt has changed I still want it to be you know yield with sunflowers so let's go and see what happens. Okay. While we, I took off the sun, uh, the sunflower image, and I came up, it's come up with something a lot closer to what I had. I had a mind. Oh, uh, okay. This one's just a dab. I didn't put that in there, but whatever. Okay, so I'm seeing here that's definitely. Yeah, there's definitely some solution here, and that's to be expected. Uh, but it is a little bit closer to what I wanted this collage to look like. It's definitely, and this one does have a, a field of sunflowers, which I, I appreciate. Um, but again, I'm seeing that, well, I think each panel has sunflower in it. So it may not have done the background of sunflowers, but it had but it had the idea of sunflowers prompt and it incorporated that as, as well as it could in each of these. All right, let's go ahead and try like a what? All right, so let's go ahead and see. Now we've got the image weight. We want this to be almost exactly what we need. We want the collage to be perfect, um, or at least not perfect, but we want it to be a five pound collage of these dance poses uh, with a woman in bohemian dress. Okay. Yeah, this one's kind of interesting because it's kind of like her foot is going into another panel. I find it rather funny. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of foot problem here. Okay. It's not too bad. Let's take a look at this one. Panel. That one. Okay, so just to remind you of what the original image looked like. Okay, this is what the original image looked like. Beautiful poses from these dancers. All right. And we're seeing a couple of them kind of do those images to some extent. So what I'm seeing here, just minimize this, is that while Leonardo kind of uses image prompt, influences, um, your your prompt it doesn't really follow the prompt or it doesn't really follow the prompt even at pro even at image weight one it doesn't really follow the prompt to the letter um even if you put it at one it still has some license to do whatever it needs to do it doesn't really copy it and and having said that it doesn't seem to be able to read the poses of the images too well um let me try and put it let me try and put in um a single image. Okay, let me try and put in a single image and see how that works. Okay, so I've switched out the collage of images for one of the images. 
Um, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So let's go ahead. I'm, I'm actually going to keep the five panel. I want to see if it actually will. Okay. All right, just to give you an idea of what this image looks like. Okay, so this is the image that I put into the font. And realize, so we do have something along the lines. You have a woman in bohemian, actually you have a woman in bohemian dress, or at least it's, it's emulating a little bit what the character in the original picture was wearing. So bohemian dress doesn't really um, work that well as far as when you're doing an image weight one. And it does its best to really kind of match the pose, but it won't do that. For some reason, Leonardo's not very, I don't know if AI in general, AI art is, is good at that, but it's not really good at matching the exact poses. That's one of the reasons why doing hands is, doing hand poses, hand gestures, tough. Um, but what I find is that it can pick up clothing differences in the texture and the color of the clothing and kind of emulate that and do its best to emulate the pose. Now, if we were to go down to an image weight of 0 0.83, 0 0.84 in this case, let's go ahead. Yeah, so now we see that at 0.84, you know, Leonardo has a bit more room to play. In fact, this one is the closest I've seen to that image, that original image of the, I guess, flying leap, call it. Um, and it's actually a pretty good approximation of that image. Um, so if we're going to go ahead and we think about it a little bit, even though control that is not, does not work with uh, image prompt, it, there are similarities. If you think about it, the lower you go, okay, let's go down to, we go down to 0.65. Okay. Again, when we go down to 0.65, we see that it does have that leaping, that loop. It's not as complex as the first image, as, as reference image, but it does try to approximate it as possible. Okay, what I'm seeing here, because um, I did another image and I actually did it um, at an image weight one, just to, to prove the point. What I'm seeing here is that the ultra detailed, um, this image here, which is a, was at a lower um, image weight, is a bit like pose to image um, in control net, which is more about the background. It's not really about the image and the pose of the image. Whereas the higher the image weight, it's more like edge to image, about that ground image and try to. Edit. So when we go through that, just Whenever anybody's doing anything with image to prompt, make sure that you're, if you want it to adhere to the um, actual image, the reference image, make sure it's at one or at least high enough to do that. If you're doing multiple images, just realize that your image, it will try its best to approximate how each image can reference and can be referenced in your final image. So if you want to emphasize particularly probably best doing just one image. If you want a true mixture of multiple images, put in you know, two, three, four, or five. But for me I wanted to create a collage and I chose to do one image because I realized that my original goal was diluted when I added more images to it. So think about that whenever you use an image prompt and have fun. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.